Okay guys, I'm gonna be teaching you how, like, a bunch of different tutorials today. Because many, many, many people have asked me how do you either erase the red, or how do you change something to a different color, and you know, using the eraser tool and stuff. Well, there are tricks here and whatnot. If you have any more questions, you can ask me, like, after this. First, you draw the red outline. First, I'm gonna show you how to... Uh, First, I'm going to show you how to turn erase the red out without without erasing the black. If you already know, don't put any comments here. These are for the people who don't know or who want to know or something like that. There, that's your red outline. Now, just I'm just going to quickly trace over this, like. Oh yes, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, in a way. Hmm, okay then. Now, if you click the eraser tool, and when you open paint, it originally starts out as this small. But if you want to make it bigger, look on your keyboard, and on the far left, bottom, right, um, well, I'm not sure how to explain that, but you'll find the button that says CTRL, which means control or something, I think. And next to it, it probably will be an FN button, but if it's not there, then, well, I have no idea because I have a laptop. So, to make it bigger, just click Control FN and the question mark button, which you will see there's a plus sign on it. I'll click it all together and make it bigger. See that, see? Now, you can make it as big as you want, doesn't really matter actually. Well, yeah, and then. Now, if you want to erase only the red, click the red, and then as you, if you look on this side, I'm showing you how you're supposed to be clicking the mouse. The red highlighted part is the part where you're clicking or something. So while you're holding that, but while you're holding the red part of the mouse right now, it has you, as you can see, it erases only the red. But if you normally just do this and erase it. Oh, my bad, wait. Only if you do that, and erase it, and erase the whole thing. Which is not what you want. Yeah. I'm sorry if this is unclear to you or something like that. But yeah. Well, this is how my tutorial is done. Now, now next part of the tutorial or something, I'm going to show you how to recolor something or change its color. Because many people have are really confused on how to do that. Now as you can see, it's our star. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Maybe not. I have no idea who exactly is. Something like that. Anyway, so if you want to change fire star to um, blue star or something. Wait, I'm just going to choose the appropriate color for you guys yell at me about saying it's the wrong color. I don't know, something like that. Blue gray. So that's the color over there. Now, if you want to change Fire Star's orangey pelt to Blue Star's blue grayish pelt, then do this. Left click the color that Blue Star has, or whatever color you want it to be, and click the color that you want to change. Or, yeah. And then, like I said again, you hold on to the left. And you drag it all over and it turns into a different color. Then see? Now it's Blue Star. Leader of the clans or something. I don't know, the River Clan? I actually have no idea. Please don't bother me with those questions because I don't know warriors. And now if you only want to erase a certain color, like um Now I see there you guys can see there's multiple colors there. If you want to use a certain color, click for example purple. Click the purple and then right um right click and drag and hold 
and you only erase that color, nothing else. Yeah, as you can see, that happened. So yeah, after I made a tutorial on how everything is done, if you have any more questions, just ask me and I'll make more tutorials, if I can, because I am a very lazy cat. Well, this is Bonnie, and um, yeah, have fun. I hope this helped you a bit. Bye.